Welcome doctors. Now let's talk about the hepatitis B virus. So hepatitis B virus is the only hepatotrophic virus which is DNA virus, which is DNA virus. And its incubation period is 2 to 26 week. And the most important point is that this hepatitis B virus, it causes chronic liver infection. It causes chronic liver infection that often lead to the cirrhosis. So, hepatitis B virus is the only hepatotrophic virus which is DNA virus. Its incubation period is 2 to 26 weeks and it causes chronic liver infection that lead to the phase of cirrhosis. Now, how it gets transmitted? It is transmitted by parenteral route, by sexual contact, by pregnancy and intravenous drug abusers and breastfeeding and needle stick injury. So how this disease get how hepatitis B virus get transmitted? It is transmitted by parenteral route, sexual contact, pregnancy, intravenous drug abusers, breastfeeding, and needle stick injury. Now, how many phases of the hepatitis B virus? So that is the first phase is acute phase. This acute phase it may lead to the this is may lead to the either it get resolved and it lead to chronic liver infection. This chronic liver infection it lead to non-progressive phase or progressive phase. And there is fulminant hepatitis and asymptomatic healthy carrier state. Now just looking the phases that is acute phase either it get resolved or it lead to chronic liver infection. This chronic liver infection may lead to non-progressive phase of chronic liver infection or it may lead to the progressive phase of chronic liver infection. And there is fulminant hepatitis and asymptomatic healthy carrier states. Now the most important point of the hepatitis B virus that is serum markers. Now let's talk about the hepatitis B virus serum markers. Now how many serum markers for the hepatitis B virus that is 5. Now looking the serum markers say this is a hepatitis B virus. Now in the hepatitis B virus surfaces there are a lot of proteins is present. Now these proteins, these proteins act as a surface antigens. Now these proteins it act as a surface antigens. So whenever hepatitis B virus causes infection, so the infected person producing certain antibodies against these surface antigens. So these antigen and antibody they are so important in the infection of the hepatitis B virus, and we call this is as viral markers. It is viral markers. So now how many serum markers for the hepatitis B viruses? That is five. So the first one is hepatitis B virus DNA. And there is hepatitis B surface antigen and hepatitis B surface antibody hepatitis B E antigen antibody and hepatitis B core antibodies in the form of IgM and IgG. So what are the serum markers for the hepatitis B virus? That is hepatitis B virus surface, hepatitis B virus DNA, hepatitis B surface antigen, hepatitis B surface antibody, hepatitis B E antigen antibody, hepatitis B core antibodies in the form of IgM and IgG. Now let's talk about hepatitis B virus DNA. It is the most sensitive marker. It is the most sensitive marker for viral replication and infectivity. How you can detect it? You can detect it 
by only technique that is PCR. Now, Repeated B virus DNA, it is the most sensitive marker for viral replication and infectivity and it is only detected by PCR. Now, hepatitis B surface antigen. Now, what is hepatitis B surface antigen? Hepatitis B surface antigen, say this is hepatitis B, sur hepatitis B virus and on the surface of this hepatitis B, it has a proteins and these are called hepatitis B surface antigens. Now these hepatitis B surface antigens, they are very responsible for acute infection. Now what happened, this is the first marker and first detectable antigen. It is first detectable antigen that is seen in the acute phase of our acute infection. Now actually how whenever this hepatitis B surface antigen it comes so our body produce certain antibodies against those antigen. Now say what happens if this is a initially the curves will be like this so it will imply us that there is hepatitis B surface antigen value increases but in this phase in the phase of A there is no formation of hepatitis B surface antibodies yet. Now, in the, in the peak value, we can't detect the hepatitis B surface antigen. Why? Because this phase, the antigen and antibody, they are bind together. Here, the antibody start producing against those specific antigen. Now, if the hepatitis B surface antigen formation at the peak, at this phase, hepatitis B surface antibody formation getting started, and in the next phase, the curve getting decreases downward say this is curve B so in the curve B it will indicate us that here the hepatitis B surface antigen its value get decreases why because our body makes certain antibodies against those specific antigen so the, here the hepatitis B surface antibody value get increases in hepatitis B surface antigen value get decreases so here from the this point C this is curve C. Here there is no changes is being seen. So it means that here the hepatitis B surface antigen and hepatitis B surface antibody amount they are getting equal to each other. Okay and this phase is called window phase. This phase is called window phase. And the window phase hepatitis B surface antigen and hepatitis B surface antibody their amount getting equal. Now further after that the hepatitis B surface antibody value get increases further and hepatitis B surface antigen getting decreases. After years and years after the this hepatitis B surface antibody value also getting decreases. So what the, say this is the curve D. So in the, in the curve A hepatitis B surface antigen value getting increases and at the at this phase the hepatitis B surface antigen is at the peak here the antibodies formation getting started but in this phase you can't detect the hepatitis B surface antigen why it is so the reason is that the hepatitis B surface antigen and antibody they are getting bind to each other now after the next phase the hepatitis B surface antibody getting produced those specific antigen and in the C phase the hepatitis B surface antibody and hepatitis B surface antigen their amount getting equal to each other we call this phase as window phase after this the hepatitis B antibody getting uh, increases further and after several years later this hepatitis B surface antibody value also getting decreases. So till now students we said that this is a hepatitis B viral DNA, this is hepatitis B surface antigen and, hepat and antibody. Now hepatitis B E antigen and antibody. This is the serum hepatitis B E antigen and antibody this is the marker for transmissibility and infectivity. It means that if a patient, if a hepatitis B E antigen is positive, it means that the patient will, they have a capacity, they have a ability to transmit the disease actively. If the hepatitis B antibody is positive, it will indicate that the disease is not transmitted actively by a person. 
so that's the hepatitis b e antigen and antibody now at the last we have hepatitis b core antibodies in the form of igm and igg now these igm and igg they play a very important role in the window phase in the window phase if the infection is acute and that very phase the igm has a major role in it if the window phase if the infection is chronic so in that period of time at the window phase the igg will be active so that's the all the serum markers it is very important serum markers for the hepatitis b virus so make sure to learn and to recall all these uh, serum markers of the hepatitis b virus now how you can prevent the patient from this condition so and the for the prevention we have to give recombinant vaccines we have to give recombinant vaccines to the patients how will you treat the patients you can give interferon alpha and lemivudin and you can go for liver transplantation as well so students all about the hepatitis b virus hope you will get the lecture thank you